لا لا تحسب أن الدين بعيد السلام عليكم everybody so this is the third episode of our Ramadan series let's get into it today's topics are Ramadan misused package and dua points okay who can guess what the Ramadan misused package is before I get into it like into it make sure you click the notification button to see when I post my next video subscribe and share okay i don't know whether you guessed right or not but the ramadan misused package is tahajjud 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 what is tahajjud tahajjud is a night prayer offered to attain mental health and peace it is one of the best ways to attain closeness to allah tahajjud has the capabilities to avert act of sin and wickedness it is a beautiful prayer done in the night after Isha'i and before Subahi. Tahajjud is best performed in the third part of the night. That's from maybe 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock. That's the best time for Tahajjud. You can perform Tahajjud at any time. It is not a forward prayer. Most of us already know all this. But then, at times, we still misuse it. At times, it's out of laziness. At times, you are actually really, really tired to get up. But when you get up for Sahur, before you start eating, you can... Do your surakas before you start eating. It's also part of the night. That means we prayer has not been called. So yeah, tahajjud is a really beautiful prayer we shouldn't miss out on. It could be any amount of rakas and then you end it up with a shafi and witch. In performing tahajjud, you do your niyyah and you should know what you are praying for. Are you praying... With, um, are you praying to Allah for forgiveness? Are you just being grateful? Are you asking him for something? Um, are you confused about something in your life? You're trying to make a decision, you know, so you should know exactly what you're praying for when you're doing tahajjud. You should do your niya before you start. Allah said you should ask and to be given unto you. So we always need things as human beings and we need to keep asking. After Tarawih, if you do a witr prayer, you don't do after the Hajjud again because the Prophet wasallam said you do Tarawih only once in the night. Some scholars say if you are going to do Tahajjud, you should delay your witr prayer and pray the witr after your Tahajjud. While some say it's okay to do your witr together with the Tarawih, but then when you do Tahajjud, you don't have to do witr prayer again anymore. So that's it for Tahajjud. Before I enter the second topic, I want to ask us about our to-do list. Hope we are following it accordingly. I want to see, I mean, I need to see what people are doing about their to-do list. Put it in the comments, in the comment section. Let me see how you are going about it. Hope we are following it accordingly. I mean, sometimes some things will come in and out and you can't follow it. But I just hope we are really achieving things we want to achieve. The plan is to come out of this Ramadan better than we entered. So for the second topic, the R points. In this R points, I am just stating the importance of writing down your du'as, things you want to ask God for in your tahajjud, tarawiyat, or any time at all. Um, recently, I found out that when I start making du'as, when I start praying, I forget to mention some very, very important things. They are very important. I'm not meant to forget them, but somehow, somehow, I just get confused in the prayer and I, I, I just go numb, but I just keep quiet. I don't even know. So what I'm saying is, I decided to write my prayer points, things I want to ask Allah about, things I am focusing on, no matter how small, no matter how big, Ya Allah, so so person is sick, grant them shifa, Ya Allah, this, 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 Ya Allah, I have an exam coming up. And I realized writing them down actually helped me to remember a lot of things. Ya Allah, I want to do this. Ya Allah, I want to do that. Ya Allah, help me do this. Ya Allah, grant me this, that, that. A lot of things. No matter how small, no matter how big, write your du'as down. Because I'm very sure I'm not the only person that forgets some things in the midst of my prayer. I don't want to break that prayer or anything. So when you write them down, it's somehow registered in your head. I just, when you read it and you reread it to yourself, you remember, you remember what you read in your prayer. And then you should always you conclude your du'as with, Ya Allah, accept my du'as, both the ones I have said and the ones I haven't. 
because you know you tend to forget some things into us let me tell you this to add that it's really really important and we should be saying it from time to time Allahumma inni ala dhikrika wa shukrika wa husni ibadatik so wrapping this up um i want all of you to state your favorite part of ramadan in the comment section it could be any part it could even be the sweetness of the food in ramadan as if the food just gets sweeter you know in this month it could be maybe eating together with family for iftar it could be reading more quran it could be the tarawi prayer it could be anything. Just state your favorite part of your mother. Make this comment section active. Okay, thank you very much. This is the end of our today's session. So may Allah spare our lives to see many more Ramadans to come. Eid Mubarak in advance. <laughs> I can't wait for Eid. And then, um, just Salaam Alaikum. Okay, remember to pray. Pray for your parents, pray for your country, pray for your...